Hey everyone, welcome back to Elk Grey Books. I'm Ellie, and uh, this is the second part of my May wrap up vlog style. Uh, it's the 16th, first day of this half, and I've already finished a book. So I've read Wild Feelers Chest by Mandy Mo Mobot. <laughs> Beaumont um, late last night. Um, this is a collection of short stories. Uh, I was really excited about this one and It was not at all what I was expecting. There are some really great stories in here And then there are a whole bunch that just made me feel really uncomfortable and like I I don't mind reading books that um, Make me feel that sense of discomfort. In fact, I enjoy them usually um, but this was like a different kind of uncomfortableness. Um, a lot of the stories are quite brutal, quite violent. Um, lots to do with, I guess, like sex and relationships and that sort of thing. But it was just kind of strange and uncomfortable. And um, yeah, so I gave it three stars. I enjoyed the stories like <laughs> the stories that I enjoyed I really enjoyed um but yeah uh I'm not too sure if I want to keep this one I'm not sure if this might make the Stella next year um so I I don't know <laughs> um but yes okay so it's Wednesday it's been a couple of days but uni assignments, which is what I'm taking a very small break from right now. Um, yes. So, I have read two books. I read Fix It Up uh, by Tessa Bailey. I read this as a buddy read uh, with Angel, and I gave this three stars. It's a cute story, and I enjoyed it, but the, like, smutty, sexy moments were just kind of weird and uncomfortable, and I just, no, that's not the style that I like to read about, and uh, yes. <laughs> and then I read Otley Coulter and The Master of Monsters by Rhiannon Williams. This was a four star book. This is the second book in the series, and I loved it. <clears throat> I love this series. It's a middle grade fantasy. It's adorable. It makes me really happy. And I have book three that I'm hopefully going to be starting after I finish this one other book that I'm currently reading. And uh, hopefully I may see you tomorrow with another book. Okay, so it's been a couple of days, but yesterday I actually managed to finish off uh, three books. Two of them that I'd been working on and then another that was just a really quick one. Um, so I started off with The Enlightenment of the Green Gage Tree by Shuk Shukfei Azar, I think is how you say it. Um, I was reading this as part of the May read for the Stella Project, um, which is a book club that I run. And um, we've been reading it chapter by chapter and I just decided yesterday, you know what, there's like four chapters left. I'll just finish them all off. Um, so I actually read this book back when it was first nominated for the Stella Prize um, back in 2018. And I DNF'd it at that time. I just couldn't get through it. Um, but then it was nominated for the International Man Booker, or the International Booker um, this year. So I decided to give it another go as part of the the um, book club and um, I gave it three stars. I had a lot of the same issues that I did the first time around. It's really beautifully written, it's very rich, um, it's about the, it's about Iran and the revolution and people and it's got uh, magical realism elements in there as well. Um, so yeah, it's very beautifully written but I just think that I found it very hard to follow. Um, it jumps between a lot of characters and you don't really get a lot of warning, like you can be following one character and then in the same chapter, you know, like a few lines later you're with someone else and that kind of pulled me out of the story. Um, but I do think it's really beautiful, 
beautifully written and that it uh, definitely deserves the um, accolades that it's getting. I think that this is probably a really great book for some people out there, but it's, yeah, I just struggled with it. Um, and then I also finished up uh, The Women of Cousins War by Philippa Gregory, David Baldwin and Michael Jones. Um, this is one of the books that I picked out from my uh, like Shop My Shelf video at the start of the month and um, or the end of last month, one of them. For, it was for May. Um, I've been reading this one for a couple of days and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I'm not a fan of Philippa Gregory. I love the idea of her books. I really love the TV show adaptations, but I just have never been able to get into them. Um, but I really like this one. I found it very engaging. The only thing that I kind of struggled with a bit was that, um, so the chapters are broken up into the three different women, um, Jaquetta of Luxembourg or Jaquita, um, Elizabeth Woodville and Margaret Beaufort. And so each of the authors writes about the different women, um, but because they're all so intertwined, a lot of them were just repeating everything that had happened. Sorry, I've got a really sharp pain in my back all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, they were just like constantly repeating everything that happened and I got that, but I also just felt like maybe there was a better way to go about this um, than constantly doing that. But yeah, I enjoyed it. And then uh, I also read Women and Power by Mary Beard because I thought this was kind of like a, a good one to kind of go off um, having read about those women to more of a general idea of women in power. Um, yeah, and this is just like a little collection of two essays and I really enjoyed it. Gave it four stars, never read anything by Mary Beard before, but I really liked her style and I think I'm going to pick some up um, in the future. Yes, that's what we're, we're dealing with at this stage in the month. So it's been a couple of days again, but I have finished two more books. This is In a Prince's Bed by Sabrina Jeffries. This is the first book in her Royal Brotherhood series, and I really, really liked this. This was so good. I kind of took a gamble and I actually ordered all three books in this series um, from Better World Books and this just happened to be the first one that arrived which was kind of perfect timing to be honest and yes I loved it and it was so good and I gave it four stars and I have the second book now as well so I will be picking that one up hopefully before the end of the month and then I also finished up The Coconut Children by Vivian Fen. Um, I got this one in April as part of the Well Read um, subscription that I have and I yeah I finished this last night and it was incredible. Um, it's one of those books that really kind of snuck up on me like I, I knew I was going to enjoy this because I had already considered buying it um, literally like a few days before it came in my delivery um, so glad that I didn't um, and then yeah it just kind of really took me by surprise um, because I give this 4.5 stars and it's one of my favorites of the year and it was just kind of yeah just kind of blew me away with how incredible it was and um, I kind of I tried to write a review of this last night and I was just having so much trouble putting into words what I wanted to say about this book. Like this is um, the author's debut novel, she's only 19 and I was just like, I, like you, like, I don't know, 19 makes me feel old and like I'm 24, like I'm not old but damn I wish I could have written like this at 19. I don't think I can write like this at 24. I've been writing since I was like five so it just yeah it completely blew me away and I can't wait to see what uh, this author is going to do next. Uh, it's been another couple of days but I've been kind of busy with um, uni and I've been tutoring some people um, while I can't work at the moment um, but I managed to finish off three books 
so I've been reading but I just haven't really had the time to sit down and film anything um so let's get into the ones um I read To Pleasure a Prince by Serena Jeffries this is the second book in the Royal Brotherhood series you will have just seen the first one um I also really really loved this one give it four stars and I think Serena Jeffries might be my favorite historical romance author at the moment it's just her stuff makes me really really happy um, I am a little sad that book three hasn't arrived yet, so I can't go straight on to that one, but I uh, really enjoyed this one. Um, next up, I finished uh, Seeing Ourselves, Women's Self Portraits by Frances Borzello. I was reading this one kind of um, as part of the essay that I was writing for my class, um, so I kind of got to a point where I had to stop because if I read any more I would just keep adding to my assignment and I didn't have enough words for that um, but also gave this one four stars really enjoyed it. it was a really nice kind of introduction into uh, female artists and their self portraits I learned about a lot of amazing artists uh, that I've never heard of before that I really like so um, definitely a good one and then last night I finished The Theory of Hummingbirds by Michelle Katerusman. Um, I just posted my review of this one yesterday when this video is up, so I'll link it below. And um, I got this one from the publisher. This is a own voice story about a young girl who was born with a club foot and um, she is about to have her final cast off and she decides that she wants to run in this race at her school. Um, so I really enjoyed this. Uh, I was born with a cough foot so this was very intense at times and uh, a little hit, hit very close to home um, but I, I did really enjoy it. So it's that one. Um, I've got one day left and I'm hoping I might be able to finish off two more books. So hopefully I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> um, so I did manage to finish up two final books. Uh, one of them was When a Duke Loves a Woman by Lorraine Heath. This is the second book in this series. I think it's, it's called The Sins for All Seasons. Uh, series. I'm um, not really sure why because it's, you know, it doesn't particularly follow a season, but sure. <laughs> um, Percy's gonna come say hi. Okay. Here he is. Um, yeah, I enjoy this series. It's fun. It's not my favourite. Um, I give this one 3.5 stars. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a fun series, but it's just missing a little bit of a spark for me but I still enjoy it like it's it's not bad it's just yeah it's just missing something and then I finished the month off with The Woman Warrior by Maxine Hong Kingston um I've owned this one for ages oh it matches my shirt today <laughs> and um yeah I finally read it so um I give this one three stars. I really enjoyed uh, the writing. I thought it was really beautiful. Um, but I, this is like a bunch of different stories, but they're also it's also kind of a memoir. And um, I really enjoyed some parts of it, and then others not so much. So um, I know that uh, she's got a couple of other books. I own one of her. Of her poetry books so I'm gonna give that one a go and see because yeah I really liked her writing I just um I don't know I, I yeah I always kind of have this trouble with like short uh pieces when they make up a book um but yes <laughs> who knows um but those are all the books that I read in May uh, in total, I've totally forgotten, I read 24, one of which was a DNF 
reread. What do you count it as if it was both a DNF and a reread? Um, but yes, very happy about that. And I will, I'm already making headway on June. I'm about to first, um, I'm about to film the first bit for June because I've already read some books. And yeah, um, I hope you're all doing well and I will see you all next time. Bye!